Hello and welcome to another Comp Wiz Tutorials. I'm Ross, and this is our third GIMP tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make a glow effect on text and a path. Um, a glow effect is pretty much just a layer behind another layer that has a Gaussian blur on it. Look like File, New Image, and have 640 by 400 and just have your background color be black. So now click new layer. Okay. And go into your paths tool. Just create a pretty simple path or a complex one, whichever you want, uh depending on how good you are with paths already. And then uh make it end in a line so that we can put a text so it looks like the text is actually coming out of the path. So, no, I have a pretty good path, and I need to make my foreground color yellow. And I'll tell you that later. It just, pretty much, it just looks good as a glow in background. So, then go into Edit, Stroke, Path. And stroke with a paint tool, because we want ours to be defined by the brush type you use instead of pixels. We could use pixels, but it's just a lot easier if we use brush. So do stroke with a paint tool, and it will stroke the uh, the path with your foreground color in the size of brush that you chose. So now do file, new layer again, on, and it'll come on top of that, and make your foreground color white. And click edit, stroke path again. Oh, but before you do this, you need to make the brush size smaller. So now then go into edit stroke path stroke with a paint tool. So now you can see there is a uh, white line inside the yellow line. So so while you're in your yellow path uh, line uh, layer go into file blur Gaussian blur and blur it by about 20 it works best it looks very good with uh, this size resolution so now it'll look like it's actually glowing but we're gonna need to blur the white layer by just like one pixel not done but one just so it looks like it fits a little better so now once you're uh, you need to create a new layer okay and then create a text and this text will be glow. Um, pick a good font uh, to like uh, that would look maybe serif. No, but uh, pick a like a smaller font that kind of looks like it's I don't know <laughs> would be good for glowing. That looks pretty good. So I'll just uh, make the font size bigger about maybe 18 18 uh, 36 36 is a little bit too big so I'll go 27 okay that looks pretty good so now we will uh, make it so that we will uh, make it look like it's actually like coming out of the line so we will need to make this a new layer well we'll need to make actually just delete that layer that you've just made we don't uh, need to make one so just uh, leave your glow as a text layer okay now and we'll need to go in the your glow layer text to selection so now we'll need since this is already white we'll need to go select grow by one pixel now it's just grown a little bit so now we'll need to do new layer and make that layer below the glow layer so then just uh, and it uh, fill with a BG color and then uh, so now it will look like now it'll have a background of yellow 
So now go into select all and have your layer behind it. Click edit, I mean filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And do it exactly how much you did the old, the other one. So now it looks like it's actually coming out of it. And we made this one edit. We need to do that by one pixel because we made the other one one pixel. So click one. Okay. That looks okay. That looks pretty good um, for a glow layer and maybe we should have made it a little higher uh, but it does look like it's not coming out of it but we can change that by uh, coming into the, your white layer and just erasing some of the the actual uh, parts like this so it looks like it's sort of coming out of it but not yeah that might be a little too much like that so that looks oh, that looks pretty good for glow and uh, you can mess around with this uh, this helps a lot if you're making a like electrifying background or so so just uh, play around with this and you can even make it very big and it'll still look uh, good so like light, I could make that uh, 100 pixels, and then go uh, text to selection, uh, and then to text to selection, and then a new layer that has to be below it, and then you just grow it by one pixel. You don't have to grow it; it just makes it look better so uh, then you go edit fill with BG color and then filters blur oh but you need to do select all before you blur it or else it will not look good uh, filters blur Gaussian blur by 20 light so that looks uh, that looks pretty good and then uh, you can uh, blur the other actual layer. Um, blur, gosh, and blur by one. And if you blur it, it kind of look makes it look like a like a ghost kind of effect. So it this looks okay. Um, light and glow. I like this, and I hope you liked the tutorial. Hoped it helped, and. My website is compwithtutorials.webs.com. Uh, please rate, comment, or subscribe, or all three. And thanks for watching.